All right. So let's just bring our mind, first of all, to the place our body is. We've got 30 minutes together. This is an excellent practice to do just before you go to bed. So if you have the discipline, like I don't, it's really excellent for particularly you on the East Coast and in the central part of the United States. Go to bed after this, put down your devices, switch off the Wi-Fi, and you might find you have a bit of better sleep. So check your feet if you are sitting at a desk, make sure your feet in a parallel position, knees parallel. Other than that, if you're in the regular cross-legged position, you can put a couple of cushions underneath each knee, something quite firm underneath your sits bones. And you can raise your sits bones maybe two to three, four inches. It helps with the posture. Hands are in the meditation mudra, right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. Shoulders are over the hips. Just imagine <clears throat> your spine is reaching from the coccyx. There's a string of pearls of light stretching all the way up through the crown of the head. And someone is above you very gently lengthening your spine, putting some space in between those vertebrae. So the crown of your head is reaching for the ceiling. Your head is slightly tipped forward and the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose. Tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. And relax the jaw. Let's just bring our awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead and the eyes. Go into the back of the eye socket, relax the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth, the chin. And then take your awareness to the back of the head, around about the base of the skull, the occipital bone. <coughs> Excuse me, and relax that area there. And relax your ears, the inner ear, the eardrum. Check your jaw again, the temples, back of the tongue. Now release any tension in the back of the neck and the shoulders. Just drop them down and drop down your shoulder blades. And try and relax any tension in the back. And bring your awareness to your throat. Relax the throat, the belly, the chest, the limbs, hands, fingers, and feet and toes. And bring your mind to the breath. And notice the sensation of the air as you're breathing in. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's slightly warmer as you're exhaling. If you can hear sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. But notice what it is that draws your mind towards that sound and away from your meditation. Just notice, allow yourself to go there for a moment and then bring yourself back and dissolve or fade that sound into the distance. Just allow the sounds to be there. And then notice your thoughts as they arise. <coughs> Excuse me, abide and fall. <coughs> and try not to engage. And just notice what's going on in the mind. And just notice that when you don't engage, how those thoughts will just disappear just dissolve. Bring the mind back to the breath. And then let's just bring to mind all the people of our life. Your loved ones, your family, your children, your 
colleagues, the ones we like, people we care about. These are our friends. <coughs> then there's those people who we tend to reject, we don't want anything to do with, maybe they've harmed you. And then there's our strangers, and this could be the person in the car next to you as you're driving to work. And they might be on the freeway in the, or at a traffic stop. Maybe they're in the line to the checkout at your local CVS. And regardless of how we feel about each of three these three groups of people, they're all equal in their wish to be happy and their wish to be free from suffering. And how despite that they're constantly running into problems, problems always arising just like us. They all are equal in this unbelievable capacity for this enlightened mind. So just imagine we're doing this puja, this, sorry, Vajrasattva practice tonight for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension for all sentient beings and for our own spiritual practice as we develop and grow and make our way along our spiritual path. So this uh, Vajrasattva practice is done in the context of the four opponent powers. Mama Yeshi used to say we create negativity with our mind so we can create positive energy with our mind as well. And we're doing this by this purification practice. So sincerely regret, first of all, this is the power of regret from the depths of your heart, anything you've done to harm any living being today or in this life, or in any of our past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general, regret them all. And the reason to regret is based on the logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we all understand about suffering, so we, gosh, do we want any more really? Perhaps not. So logically it makes sense to pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret the anger the attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and again think I'm sick of this suffering. So what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. We rely upon, we turn to the doctor. Oh, I've lost somebody, Mary Jo, okay. We rely upon, we turn to the doctor, the Buddha, who has the methods we can use to purify. And so we're asking Vajrasattva to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods. So visualize a Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine, in order to make it a little bit more personal, this is your teacher, your trusted mentor, your spiritual guide, manifesting in this form for your benefit this Vajrasapa aspect and he's made of radiant blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon disc and this lotus although born out of mud is untainted by that mud and this is the analogy they use for our enlightened mind born out of our delusions but yet untainted by them untouched by them and Vajrasapa's face is beautiful radiant glowing and youthful just one of those faces you just want to keep looking at. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. And he's a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. He's wearing a five-pointed crown on his head that's embedded with jewelry. He's wearing jewels in his ears and around his neck, his waist, 
his arms, wrists and ankles. And he's wearing these beautiful celestial silken robes in the Royal Indian style. And he has an aura of light around his head and also around his body. I mean, this whole image above the crown of your head is made of light. So it's quite dynamic. It's quite alive. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents a union of these two which symbolizes enlightenment itself, development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I am enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us, by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you may have harmed recently or in the past or in general all beings we have ever harmed since beginningless time. And then remember those who have harmed you and just think we have compassion for them because they will suffer as a result of the harm they've done to you. So have compassion for them for that. So compassion is a, a wish for a person to not suffer, to be free from suffering. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings. I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy. And this is the actual medicine, the doing of the practice of purification. So we do u utilize visualization and recitation of mantra. So first is a purification of the body and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar <clears throat> like coming out of a, a waterfall or a hose and it pours into you quite forcefully, comes into you from his heart and it enters your crown chakra and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you and forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and it pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawasidi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta mebawa sawasidi mempiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa sapokaya mebawa Anaracta mebawa sawasidi mempiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anaracta mebawa sawasidi mempiyata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sapokaya Mebawa 
Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago one sawa tata gata vajama me mutta vajabawa maha samaya satva a hum pe umbadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So next is the purification of speech. And again, Guru Vajrasapa very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and forcefully enters you into your, through your crown, uh, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of the body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and the lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by the powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawasidi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anaracta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anaracta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Mempiata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anaracta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So the next is the purification of the mind and Guru Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a dark room and switch on a light. That light instantly dispels the darkness in the room, doesn't it? So just as the light hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind all the attachment and depression and neediness and grasping and anxiety and 
jealousy and bitterness and grudges and disappointments, all of these feelings that we have running around in ourselves that we don't know what to do with, that overwhelm us, all of this is instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Amarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sidam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutta vajabawa maha maya sattva a hum pe vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dida mebowa sutokaya mebowa sipokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sidam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita Dida mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita Duda mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, duda mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa duna patita duda mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our, our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified, gone. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is a purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time imagine Guru Vajrasattva sends out light and nectar and if you wish, you can do a couple of mantras each for the visualization of the body and of the speech and of the mind. And if that's too much for your mind, you can imagine just light and nectar pouring into you, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hom pe vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dida mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawasidi mimpiyata sawa kama sita me 
Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajra Mame Matsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajra Mame Matsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Um Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapadina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Um Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapadina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida mebawa sutokaya mebawa sapokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe <clears throat> Now feel completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So next we come to the power of resolve. And this is a really crucial step in this purification process is that we make a decision to refrain from harming and we have habits and we keep doing them and they are harmful to ourselves and others but we can just decide I'm going to work on something between tonight and tomorrow when we meet again that I'll refrain from this one particular thing whether it's interrupting others when they're talking that can be something that's kind of irritating it's also disrespectful so there's that. So something, something along those lines. It can be something very simple that you know that you maybe have a habit to do. And then you can refrain from it for as long as is realistic for you. Five seconds, ten seconds, thirty seconds, overnight while you're sleeping. And we don't break promises to ourselves. And for those of you who have been doing this for a while, really rejoice in the effort that you're making, that you have made, and the progress that you've made. Amazing. Okay, you've stuck with it for so long. It's incredible. Okay, so let's to conclude. Guru Vajrasattva is delighted with us. Wanting to merge with your mind, he melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown. And think, my Guru's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind, are the same thing. And Lama Yeshi used to call this union oneness. So here Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So place your mind in that emptiness for a little while. And you can think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. Or you can think that perhaps the way things are appearing to me may not necessarily be the way they exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, the positive energy you've created by doing this purification to all living beings, thinking, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zopa Rinpoche, Tob Shul Chang Shin Jam Gon Galloway, Tenzing Kyong Pelwe Kunzo Dog Porze Chog Sum Kurwe Legmon to Drew 
Padag sog du je gon du jab ten shog. Amphalama Ursul, Venable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And Vigeshi Sherab, Beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody, there we go again, gone like a dream. Thank you very much. So lovely to see you all. I'm glad you're all safe. Lots of love. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning for some. (laughs) 